360 look at oil and gas development really resonated with you. Now, we examined the pros and the cons of Initiative 97 last night at 10 o'clock. This proposal would ban drilling within a half mile of homes. Well, Byron writes to us saying he'll be voting yes on 97. He says he would ban drilling within three miles of neighborhoods. While Mark said the complainers are mostly from elsewhere, people who think they can come in and change our ways in the West. But one email in particular really got us asking some questions about how the state responds to complaints about the oil and gas industry. So Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski took the questions straight to the folks in charge. <music> Fran sent this email to us after our 360 look at oil and gas in Colorado. In her note, she says she tried to reach out to the COGCC for help, saying there is no communication with citizens in COGCC. Last Friday, she sent this to the state's Oil and Gas Commission Director, Julie Murphy, saying, I have concerns regarding a well in my area near a school, and no response. As a Firestone resident, Fran's concerns are about a well close to her niece's elementary school. She wrote us, they do not test the wells and follow up as they should. They do not return phone calls. So we went straight to the COGCC for answers. If someone uh, feels like we haven't been responsive to a complaint that they have or a concern that they have, we need to know about that. Todd Hartman works for the COGCC. He says it's their job to inspect wells and follow up on citizen complaints. And they take that seriously. As soon as someone files one, here on their website, Hartman says they respond within 24 to 48 hours. We take the issue of complaints as one of our highest priorities as an agency. But that's not what happened in Fran's case. So what gives? COGCC says they have no formal complaint from her. Just that email we showed you sent to the director who was out of town until yesterday. Now that they know, Hartman says they will follow up with Fran. We'll make sure that her concerns get, get looked into. Hartman says the COGCC has inspected 33,000 of the state's nearly 55,000 wells last year and doubled the number of field inspectors from 15 to 30. Inspectors are also now using infrared cameras to detect any gas leaks. But Hartman says they depend on the public to be their eyes and ears. When somebody has a specific concern, that location's going to move right up the priority list and be inspected right away. If you have an oil and gas safety concern or a complaint that you want the state to look into, all you have to do is go here to their website and click here to file a complaint. Hartman says they will respond within 24 to 48 hours. If you file one and don't hear from them, we want to know about it. Send me an email or message me on my Facebook page. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. All right, Jen, thank you.